All right, welcome back everybody to Altcoin Daily, where you subscribe to stay informed on this emerging cryptocurrency market. My name's Austin. Today we have big news involving Polkadot, involving Aave, Ethereum, NEM, and even some new DeFi altcoins. So like always, check the timestamps down below in the description. And let's start with Bitcoin. Bitcoin is climbing and we are climbing fast. In fact, as more and more institutions take out a position in Bitcoin, 70K is now in play. And let me show you. This is Bitcoin's price since December 2020 into 2021, and you can see pretty steady accumulation. Now notice, ever since we had that end of February dump, which scared a lot of people off, we have since then been seeing higher highs and higher lows, very bullish. And another thing, Bitcoin is dangerously close to breaking its previous all-time high. Now, you'll notice, looking historically, when Bitcoin in the past has broken past, broken above its all-time high, that's a huge breakout to the upside, if slash when we break our all-time high. Now, to me, Bitcoin hitting 70k, it's not a question of if, it's a question of when. And this rise in Bitcoin that we've been seeing is very healthy. What defines a healthy rise in Bitcoin's price? One that is backed by on-chain volume. When the price increases too fast without allowing blockchain activity to catch up, that's often not sustainable. And to determine this, if you hold Bitcoin, the NVT ratio is a great metric to use. What is NVT for Bitcoin? Well, it shows us if Bitcoin's price is currently overvalued or undervalued and it uses the network value or market cap of Bitcoin in reference to the transactions going on on the Bitcoin network, that ratio, to paint us a clearer picture. So Bitcoin's network value over transactions is calculated by dividing market cap by the daily USD volume transmitted through the blockchain. So does the activity on the network back up the current price? And right now, as Bitcoin's price continues to climb, the NVT looks beautiful, telling me that this is very healthy growth. And this metric is gonna be very important to reference back to as this bull market progresses. So I'm gonna keep tabs on this. The minute I get more information, I will make a video, I will let you know. All right, we have five different top altcoins making news today. Starting with Polkadot, Parity Technologies to propose parachain governance framework for Polkadot. So as you know, Polkadot is a smart contract platform that is all about interoperability. And if other blockchains want to interoperate in that ecosystem, they can bid on a parachain. The parachains are auctioned off. Well, what Parity Technologies is doing is planning to roll out a new parachain that could enhance the use case of the network that you wouldn't need to bid on and hope to win in an auction. Statement is the first proposed common good parachain for the Polkadot network. Now a common good parachain is a parachain that's granted slots via governance as opposed to the auction mechanism that underlies Polkadot. The auction method doesn't work effectively for all parachains, i.e. those that could be considered as common goods. So they're saying that now governance will be able to vote you in, give you a parachain, if the community deems it, right? DOT is a governance token, the community can vote. And this is another way to sync in with a parachain. As a generic asset chain, Statement would allow anyone to deploy an asset on the network as long as they put up the collateral in the form of DOT or in Kusama's case, in the form of KSM. So the token DOT will still very much need to be held and used. And how this affects you, Statement will allow diverse entities, ranging from artists issuing tokens for their work, to central banks issuing central bank digital currencies to deploy their assets to the Polkadot network. Okay, very interesting. I think this is going to open up Polkadot as an ecosystem to a lot more people. The ecosystem will continue to grow bigger. I think bullish. Give me your thoughts down below in the comments section if you hold DOT. I want to know what you think. But next piece of very bullish news for Aave. Digital assets firm Taurus has integrated the Aave protocol to improve banking access for DeFi. So this is a Swiss fintech firm that is integrating Aave into their infrastructure to allow banks and exchanges 
to deposit and borrow digital assets. So as you know, Aave is a DeFi protocol used by both retail and institutional clients, providing users with a decentralized back end infrastructure for lending and borrowing. And let's get specific here. How is Taurus Group integrating Aave? The Aave protocol is being used in the Taurus Group custody project, Taurus Protect, as well as its smart contract issuance and interaction platform, Taurus Capital, allowing institutional clients to deposit, withdraw, and borrow assets and stake Aave tokens, said the firm. And in a direct quote from Aave CEO in regards to this integration, DeFi provides transparent, efficient, and cost-effective solutions for banks to deploy their capital more effectively. We are excited to work with Taurus, who's a leader in onboarding banks to DeFi through its secure custodian and smart contracts platform. I like it. I like it. The minute I get more information on Aave cryptocurrency, I will make a video. I will let you know. And next piece of news for NEM, the symbol launch dates are confirmed in a few days for the 15th of March, 2021. So NEM is launching a new coin called Symbol for interoperability. Now this was supposed to happen in December of 2020. They wanted to wait, get their ducks in a row, and it's happening in a few short days. Everybody who holds NEM before the snapshot will receive Symbol as well. And the snapshot is March 12th. And that's why you've seen people make sure they have their NEM positions because they wanna receive Symbol token as well. Now, what is Symbol? Symbol from NEM is built to be interoperable. Its application programming interfaces, APIs, easily integrate with existing systems and processes, as well as other blockchains. And speaking of interoperability, the platform permits atomic cross-chain swaps, enabling the trading of tokens from different blockchains and eliminating the need for intermediaries. Very interesting stuff. And if you're asking, okay, well, how does this affect me? Well, Symbol is meant to be the next generation enterprise grade blockchain designed for developers, businesses, and will be, be positioned at the heart of the new economy that is taking shape all around us. Now, NEM has more of a grassroots following in the East, in Asia. So we'll have to keep tabs, see which enterprises hop on and interoperate in their ecosystem. As I get more info, I'll keep you updated. I do want to take 45 seconds and mention sponsor of the channel, CryptoTrader.Tax, a very easy way to get your cryptocurrency taxes done. They automate the entire process. It takes less than five minutes. I used them last year. I will be using them this year. If you just search cryptocurrency taxes 2021, you'll see a six minute walkthrough slash guide where I take you through the platform. I will link this down below. So whether you use Coinbase, Binance, Uniswap, it works for all exchanges. And by the way, only for you, if you are an Altcoin Daily audience member, every week, CryptoTrader.Tax is giving away a free cryptocurrency tax report. Just enter the contest, enter the giveaway down below. I will link this down below in the description. And for everybody else, feel free to use my promo code Altcoin Daily for 20% off. Check it out. Next piece of ETH news. Ethereum devs confirm the Berlin hard fork date. So this is different than Ethereum 2.0, which the final phase is years away. And this is different than EIP 1559, which is going to be in July, I believe, sometime. This Berlin upgrade is scheduled to be activated on the mainnet at around block this one, which is expected to fall around April 14th. So next month, Ethereum will get this upgrade and what that means to you. The upcoming hard fork is intended to help the Ethereum network by optimizing the usage of gas fees and mitigating against possible denial of service DOS attacks. So just basic optimizations from the developers. And this will be tested heavily before it hard forks on the ETH network. Before being activated on the mainnet, the Berlin upgrade will first go live on testnets Ropsten on March 10th, followed by Gowerly and Rinkaby on March 17th and March 24th, respectively. So that will be tomorrow slash the next few weeks. If you hold Ethereum, there's absolutely nothing you have to do. If you run an Ethereum node, you may have to upgrade your node. But other than that, you're all good. I will keep you updated as more info comes out.
Next piece of DeFi news, Coinbase Ventures, as well as major VCs, pile $2 million into DeFi platform Saffron. So check this out. It's called Saffron Finance SFI token. And although it's down today, it saw a major pump in anticipation and because of this news. And it's getting a lot of attention because Coinbase may have just invested a lot of money into it. Venture capitalist firms, including Dragonfly Capital and Coinbase Ventures, have today finalized a funding round into DeFi risk management platform Saffron, according to the press release. And what is Saffron Finance? Saffron, which launched in November of last year, enables investors to choose the level of risk they want to take on when lending cryptocurrency in the decentralized finance industry. And that is the news short but sweet and it's interesting to see what these juggernauts of crypto juggernauts of finance are choosing to invest in they chose saffron let me know what you think down below but that is the video my name's austin like always see you tomorrow hit like